there's a lot of good people everywhere. Small communities. Again, let's say this caring people. Good volunteers. It's quiet, relaxing. That's what uh, people look for. Uh, Vassar uh, at one time was a real big town. There was over a thousand people with popu uh, population there. It was uh, basically known as a, a lumber town where a lot of woodcutters lived. The Aston Railroad goes through uh, Vassar. That was also an important factor because a lot of wood was put on cars and sent to one bay. It's the peacefulness. It's, uh, good caring people there. It's their roots, some of them. So, uh, Vassar uh, has a uh, hold the Polka Derby in the winter time. It draws snowmobilers there. In the summertime they uh, have a, a fastball tournament. And they're also known for their swimming pool. Okay. It's, uh, only an uh, outdoor pool this side of standby. They're uh, diamonds, baseball diamonds in their pool. And they have a campground there. That's very interesting. In wintertime, there's a fair amount of snow wheeling that gets done around Vassar. There's some trails. Summertime, there's, sure, there's some quarters that people uh, enjoy some of them trails as well. Vassar, they have a good group of volunteers in their towns. It's very impressive. There's a lot of people that have cabins in that area. It's really an old town. They used to have a railroad that went through it. And that was shut down back in the 60s. Well, how it got its name is uh, from the two railroads meeting in town. It was the, the southerly junction of the CN Railroad. That's where it's got its name. The events, uh, they have a 1st of July celebrations are, are, are held there every year, except this year's so far. Uh, they also have a family baseball tournament. They have a, a lot of snowmobilers and people on quads that go to the local restaurant. So that keeps that place busy. Uh, it's quiet, peaceful, some of it, it's uh, their roots, and it's uh, also agriculture that keeps uh, people there and brings workers in. In St. Lob would be their uh, St. Lob 200 in the summertime. It's uh, they design their own go karts uh, one day and then the next day they race them. There's teams that get together and they design their own piece of equipment. They're given a, a, a few items to work with, and then the rest is theirs. I would. I think at one time it was probably uh, mostly uh, agriculture and uh, uh, the wood industry. It's people, I would say. It's good people. <laughs>